Hello random person, Sam Nino here. We're doing something different. I don't know how to start this, but I got the voice cast on board to record a script reading for another random day episodes one to four. Would you guys want to introduce yourselves? <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Uh, hi, I'm Hayden Erickson. I voice Arx Brit and some other characters that haven't been introduced yet. I am also one of the script writers and I help out with editing too. Hi, my name is Aiden Crawford. I normally play the voice of Ender and I might be voicing Jess today depending on if the VA for Jess. My name's Michael Lee, I'm a voice actor, and I play Nameless and Caden and a couple other characters. All right, so do you guys have the script up? <laughs> yep. Whoa. Okay, the first episode. Episode Dang, one. Hang on. What? Scott, you didn't even explain why we're doing this episode. I mean, why oh. we're doing this video. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, sorry about that. I'm trans male. Uh, that means I'm transitioning over from being female to male. I go by male pronouns, he, him. Even though I voice act female characters like Brit right now, uh, it just means that uh, my role as being the voice actor for Brit is coming to an end. And this is a video in celebration of that, of the, where we first started and where it's coming to an end with me being the voice actor. Because I started testosterone uh, a little over a month ago, and my voice in about two to three months from now will start to get deeper, and I will no longer be able to voice Brit. So it's basically almost like a farewell party, in a sense, of bringing back the old days into now. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's been a, a long journey because uh, I've been waiting to get on testosterone for six years now since I've, since I've come out as trans. So that's how long I've been helping Sebastian with, with ARD. God, that makes me feel old. I'm genuinely happy that, you know, you're, you finally got testosterone. It's gonna be a little sad to let you go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Only letting me go as Brit's voice actor. Everything else I will be doing. <laughs> Yeah, we cannot lose you as a writer. <laughs> okay, um, another random day, episode one. All you need to know. <laughs> Starts off with educational jail. Sab is sitting at his desk in math class. I wonder where my friends are. Rip pops into her desk behind Sab. Nameless, were you using my wish grantor again? Sorry, Sab. I, I didn't want to you to get lonely. Hayden comes out of Sab's shirt. Hi, Sab. How are you doing today? I'm very hyper. I know. I'm used to you being hyper. I like root beer. <laughs> he drinks it disgustingly. Can I have some? Sure thing! I can't say no to my best friend. It's our code. Thanks, dude. Drinks root beer. <laughs> Takes root beer, drinks root beer. Uh, the joy of best friends doing something totally weird. <laughs> <laughs> In what way? See all those bubbles on their faces? Oh. Now look at the shape of the bottle. <laughs> Why must you do this to me, Brittany? I like torturing people. Do your other personalities do this? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it will when uh, it will stop when I take over the world. Okay, who wants to get a crack at the teacher? Uh, I'll try it. Awesome. Here's some work. Now do it. One day we will not do it. Well, we should do it anyway if we want to grow up. Good point! Why am I yelling? Why must he give us the same work we did yesterday? Because I hate my job. I wanted to be a ballerina when I grew up, but I wasn't sexy. Say I'm sexy now or you'll have detention. To be honest, you're not the most attractive teacher, but I'm pretty sure you're attractive on the inside. No one is such uh, with that much kindness. You're wrong. <laughs> Interior cafeteria. Hey, Sam. Wanna see a cool picture? Why not? It's... it's Yowie. That's why you should never trust me. But you're a good person. Take off your glasses and look at me. But I look ugly without glasses. I don't want you to see my terrifying looking eyeballs. Your eyes don't make a difference with or without glasses. See? 
You look pretty. No, I don't. I look creepy. What are you guys playing? I love meaningless games. I'm trying to see Sebastian without his glasses. But my eyes look all beat up and hideous. Come on, man. Chicks dig you. I bet you'd look badass without your glasses. I'm just worried about you guys making fun of me. Would you promise me you won't? We promise. My pinky is pink with pinky-like promises. Okay, here we go. Takes off glasses. I know I said you're adorable a couple times, but I was wrong. You're a hunk. I may be a lesbian, but you're hot. No comment. Become a model or Ender will hit you with Fago. Who wants to try out the narrator? I'll do it. So then the crew killed themselves because of sad, sexy eyes. When sad, just kidding, sad, just erased their memory. See you guys. Now, now, to try to smell my own feet. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, that was episode one. <laughs> 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 I forgot how fucking dumb it is. August still has not replied, so Aiden, you're Jasmine for this. <laughs> I am sorry, audience, I tried getting all of the voice cast. It is what it is. <laughs> Time to become more fun. We should, we should check your Jasmine voice. Okay, mm. so that probably means I gotta be more fun presenting. Okay, uh, bleh. Person that I don't know very well, I'm breaking up with you. No, gotta, gotta say it with more sass. It ruined the comedy of more uh, the comedy of the sentence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Episode two. Senior fangirl. Interior educational jail. Sab, Caden, and Brandon are walking in the hallway. So there was this alien who was at the bar, then ran into a Martian, then some sort of punchline. That sounds like a pretty good story for children. But they do things. Very nasty things. <sighs> What's wrong, bruh? I'm just sick of looking at couples making out in the hallways. It just reminds me of how I'm single. That sounds like it sucks, dude. At least you never had a problem with an android with a leak obsession. <laughs> I feel for you, man. But if only I could find a date to what? So that gets hearts in his eyes. Then it cuts to Jasmine turning around slow motion to some sort of love song. Sam. You okay, dude? And you're in love, aren't you? Tough luck on that one, kid. She's taken. Person that I don't know very well, I'm breaking up with you. I'll be guy. But why? Reasons. Can you be a little more specific? Nah, it ruined the comedy of the sentence. Walks away from the guy. She dumped him! Now's your chance! Go ask her out, dude! The worst she can say is a negative yes! But what if I messed up? I never asked out a girl before. Maybe I should follow her and see what she's like. Kinda creepy, but if it worked for you, then why not? Jasmine walks somewhere while Sav follows her, which eventually leads to libraries. Interior libraries, Jasmine shown on a school computer. Nothing like reading some yummy gay fanfics. It's not like I have anything better to do! While reading, Sav shows up behind her. I feel like I'm being stalked. Slowly turns her head and sees Sav. Be gone, you creepy pervert! But I don't want to do those types of things to you! Nice try! People try to go after my target all the time! I don't know what you're talking about! I just want to explore you a little! In what way? Getting to know you! You're innocent. <laughs> Sorry about the wound. My name's Jasmine. Jasmine Moonbeam. But I also go by Cherry Blossom. Sebastian Schwander, but people call me Sabnino. Why did you follow me? I have a hard time talking to people, so I just follow them and hope they notice me. Oh my god! I don't even know you that well, but I already thought of a nickname for you. Lost Puppy. Didn't you follow people trying to look for an owner, you know? I'm already owned by someone, but okay. Brings out his collar that says property of uh, Brittany Aldrin. So you already found your owner. Sounds like a pretty adorable relationship. I'm single, but I do have a crush on. Calm down, Sibikun. You're going too fast. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Reading a little fanfic. It's a yaoi of my fa favorite shipping. Aridin and Solex. 
did you say, Yowie? Interior. Cafeteria. Sab and Jasmine are sitting at a table. So, what kind of things are you into? Well, I like writing stories, creating OCs, archery, hiking, cannibalism. My favorite color is purple. I have a thing for cheesecake. I often act like a cat, and as long as you don't touch my target, you won't get hurt. But you can touch everything else. Oh, and I like to cuddle. But where's your target? It's the one Barty part that you keep making songs about. Points on her butt. Never mind. In that, I want to hear more about you. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. I have autism, post-traumatic stress disorder, I twitch a lot, I take orders from everyone, I am very sensitive, I have a thing for Vocaloid, drawing, creating things, and I don't know how to stand up for myself. <laughs> you remind me of Black <laughs> Butler, you're so adorable. In my opinion, I think you're cute as well. Wow, it must have taken a lot of courage to say that, which makes me admire you. It takes a lot of effort and guts to express your feelings. The reason why I say that is because- well, What was that, sir? Uh, never mind, it's hard to express feelings. Try to be a man! What if it was the end of the world? What would you say? Don't make me bring out the knife! I have a crush on you! To be honest, I gained a little crush on you too. It might have been a little heart there. Thanks for doing your best to tell me anyway, Sebi Khan. I really appreciate it. Not many guys can come out like that to a chick they like. That took a lot of balls, so thank you. You're welcome. Am I being crazy for saying my feelings this early? Although you're cute and all, I don't want to rush a relationship. Maybe I can think about it tonight and talk to you again tomorrow. Exterior. Educational jail. After school. Sab, Caden, and Britt are talking. How'd it go, Sab? She said she'll think about it. I would have told her the same thing. If we were doing something dirty. <laughs> well, congratulations, dude! You've achieved something! Oh, uh... Hi, Jasmine. Hey, Sebi Chan. I thought about the whole relationship thing, and I'm crazy as hell, and you're cute as bl all bloody fuck. Let's become a fucking relation, a fucking chipping. Ah, uh, nothing like seeing a crazy fan girl and an innocent kid about to fall in love with each other without knowing a lot about each other. I feel like this relationship is forced. Being crushed to death. Ugh. I can't feel my heart beat. <laughs> See, Brittany, that's a sign of love. No, it's not! It's a sign I'm about to die if he doesn't let me go! Jasmine finally lets Sab go. I'll see you later, my tiki twitchy coon. Kisses Sab on the cheek, then walks away. Sab floats with warby arms, hearts, and eyes. All that jazz. <laughs> Are you okay, Sab? You look more rubbery than usual. He's fine. He's just doing something that cartoons have been doing for years. So you're telling me? We're just a bunch of drawings joined together to make us move. Well, there's only one way to find out! Brings out a giant pencil and erases Brit, leaving Brit to be nothing but storyboard. She covers herself as she was naked. There's something sketchy going on here! <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? Okay, now episode 3, Creepy Psycho. Interior, educational jail. Sab and Michael are talking. Hey, Sab. Caden told me about some secret underground hangout or something like that. I guess Caden forgot it was supposed to be secret. But since you know Michael, I am willing to give you access to the hangout. Gives him a remote. I'll be trying to socialize if you need me. See you soon, little buddy. Sab walks and suddenly his eyes get big and long in reaction to what he's seeing. No way. Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it is! It's a cosplay of the Vocaloid Hatsune Miku! And it looks very professional. I've never seen one before. I must know more. Hello, random person! Hi there! Where the fuck did you come from? Where'd you get that cosplay? It looks pretty valuable. If you're wanting to pay me for it, it's not for sale. Are you a fan? Well, yeah. Do you cosplay as any other Vocaloids? What's your favorite Vocaloid? How many songs have you heard? I've heard them all. Ender gets glowing cat eyes while background gets dark. Do you have a favorite shipping? What about a character you ship yourself with? How do you feel about the English voice banks? I heard a rumor that the fan base is slowly dying. That's true. Ah! Did the lights just burn out or Oh, sorry. Did the lights just burn out or something? Holy crap! Oh, Ender beats up Sam. <laughs> Sam's being attacked by a demon from hell! Brandon, get the others! We need to help him! Sir, yes, sir! Do you want from me? Seth tries to throw a punch and then hits him with a finger bottle. 
Huh? Huh? Doesn't feel good from the other end, does it? No, it doesn't, but is this really worth killing someone? So, do you want me to tie her up or something? I've never seen anything like this. Since you've come this way to irritate me, you know what this means, right? I'm too young to die. It means I must be a pretty goddamn good, pretty goddamn good at being a cosplayer. Snaps your fingers. The bubble's gone. The background is bright again. Sab's fully healed. Ender, what are you thinking? You could have scarred him for life. Come on, Cherry Blossom. I was just having a little fun. A little fun never killed anyone. Ender? You guys know each other, don't you? Since kindergarten, please excuse her. She's not fully human. She's half vampire. The powers run in the family. Really? I just assumed they were from the devil. Uh, the powers devil. from hell here. Get your powers from hell here. I want two personalities. A murder doll named Kathy and a creepy Russian who wants to take over the world named Marsha. She is a master of torture, so that's enough to let her off the hook. Brittany Audrian, I'm into some really kinky shit. So, what about that hangout you were talking about, Sab? Oh yeah, about that. We should do it after school. If I miss classes, I'll have some serious regrets. Well, Under, any friend of Jasmine's is a friend of mine. How would you like to see our secret underground hangout? I guess so. Half of my life is watching anime and visiting, visiting Jazz. Please don't tell me this can cause a zombie apocalypse. I know how to create one. If I dig over the world, maybe I'll achieve something too. Interior, sub secret hangouts below his house. Everyone uses a remote to create a portal, except for Jasmine and Ender that uses her shadow powers to get there. I was just expecting a treehouse with drinks, games, and some cheese mall. But this is actually impressive for a kid. Okay, guys, let me explain some rules. One, there aren't any. Two, no rules, no problem. And three, no freaking rules. Everyone looks in confusion. Sorry, I just get excited for a sec. Anyway, let's tour this place. Here's the game center where we play, well, video games like Super Sexy Action Girls or Zombie Dance Party. This is Sab's lab. He makes a lot of gadgets, including Nameless, who is the first hologram you can touch. If you can touch it, it's not a hologram. We break a lot of logic. And lastly, here's the bathroom. Insert toilet joke here. Well, that wraps up the tour, so let's just get wild. Whoa. Hey, Sab, if it's your hangout, why aren't you giving the tour? Yeah, Kitten does that a lot. <laughs> no way. You guys have a playable system 5? First, I thought I had to steal one. Well, sweet cheeks, you stole my heart if you know what I mean. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll just find someone else to flirt with. Cuts to the characters playing video games. Hello, I am Nameless. I am here to help people with their troubles. Well, hello, Nameless. If you'd like to help, how about you beat this level for me? I will see what I can do, Ender. Just so you know, Nameless doesn't have any game. Shows the screen playing, saying player six wins. Experience. But real quick, is was Ender um, player six? I think so. I don't know. I'll... I'll figure it out after this. <laughs> Does anyone know how to work this thing? Cuts to a bunch of characters talking in a bunch with a bunch of books lying around. You know, I've always had a thing for the paranormal. What exactly do you do with your powers? Holy crap. I mean, it's the best thing you can have. You can make shadow puppets, you can control your own temperature, teleport, mind control, and even heal your own wounds. Andrew sucks Jasmine's blood. Uh, do you basically live on blood like a normal vampire? Or... Do you just do that for fun? She's very picky on what blood she drinks. Her favorite blood is weirdly enough mine. Interior, Sab's lab. Modifying a portal remote. Hey Sab, what you working on? I'm working on a device where you can go to alternate universes. I'm just figuring out how many dimensions there are that have our country Subnicon. Yes Sab, yes we are. Well, Ender knows how to travel dimensions. She likes to create those black hole thingies. And you go into them with the power of your mind! That's pretty unique, but since I don't know how to do that, I have to invent something. Unique like your autism? 
Eh, I don't know, that can get in the way of things, but you could say that. Andrew and Briss shows up using Ender's powers. Hey, guy. What are you two lovers doing? Looks like they're experimenting. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, guys. Yes, we are experimenting with dimensional travel. Sab shoots his nude portal remote near Nameless. According to my calculations, Sab, that was something known as an innuendo. How much knowledge do you have exactly? As much as the internet. Interior, back to the main area of the hangout. You know something, this place is actually neater than my truck. We should do this more often. Well, we come here after school pretty much every day, Michael. Just make yourself home, guys. Speaking of which, how long exactly did it take you to make this, Sab? I was wondering the same thing. Britt, how long did it take you? Hmm, let's see. According to my knowledge, it took around... Sab gets cut off by the credits. Okay. Last episode, episode four, Nameless's Day Off. Establishing a shot of Sab's house in the summer. Interior, Sab's hangout. Sab, Caden, and Britt are wearing swimsuits and getting ready for the beach while Nameless watches. Well, I think we have everything. Nameless, are you ready? Sab, I know that you want me to come, but do you think I can stay here for today? But, but why? One of the hardest parts about having kids they grow up so fast! Sometimes I just want some alone time. Besides, I mostly have to be hidden anyway. I just want to know what it's like to get some solitude. Oh, we all have those moments. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. But are you sure you don't want to stay with me, Daddy, Auntie... But are you sure you don't want to stay with Daddy, Auntie Britt, and Uncle Caden? <laughs> You're adopted! <laughs> He's created, Kato. I'm sure. Besides, I can't go to Florida town without getting wet. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, Nameless, I need to stop being overprotective. But there's some rules that you need to follow. Just watch some violence on TV so you'll know what not to do. Does he even age? Like, go through the cute dinosaur to the awkward phase of edgy emo? Say? I have no idea. I gave myself golden features so he can pick his own path. There's a portal that shows up, created by Caden. He waves goodbye. Welp, see ya, Nameless. Britt walks into the portal and peeps her head out. Don't do anything I would do. The portal closes, and Nameless sits down for a minute, contemplating what happened. He slowly starts to scream. Ah! Uh... Oh. <laughs> I ain't got out. <laughs> hmm. Camera slowly starts, shows with the Sailor Moon cosplay. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to read all this for Okay. Time for time stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello, I am Nameless. Middle name, adorable. And last name, person. I'm not a person, but a touchogram. But that's beyond the point. Why am I making this video, you may ask? Answer, it helps me ground myself to reality. As you saw earlier, I like to cosplay. Sort of. I made some friends. I recently helped Ender with gaming with a gaming level, and today I ran into Ms. Mannequin. Cause everyone loves a callback. Exterior, Florida Town. Sab, Britt, Caden, and Brandon are throwing a ball in the sand. Hey Britt! Think fast! Oh <laughs> Here, Sab. You should probably get a turn. Um thanks. Half-heartedly throws the ball. Everything okay, dude? You look kinda down. I don't know, I'm just a little nervous about Nameless. What if something happens? It's okay, man! A lot of parents go through it! If something goes wrong, he can call you! Come on, Sav. Let us distract us- uh, distract- <laughs> Come on, Sav. Let us distract you from your stress! Think fast, Sav! Interior, hang out, and Nameless is talking to a mannequin. That's when I said, a salad does not make me solid. <laughs> my joke does not suck. Do not say that about my mother. <gasps> Today's visit didn't go well. She kept insulting my mother. Jasmine is doing the best she can. I like to think of Sab and Jasmine as my parents, since Sab created me, and Jasmine is his current mating partner. Exterior, Florida town that slowly gets gets dark as the beach resident 
Okay, so there's a bunch of lines that doesn't have the OGVA, so if anyone wants to voice something, just go ahead. Alright. Come on! Kill screen! Damn it, Blinky! Battle's going on over there! So I went up to get uh, us all juices. He started to flirt with me. He told me this joke. I said I wasn't here for... Oh, crap. Get your 20 cent taffy with real salt water. I'll take 10! <laughs> hey, look, guys. I found a thing. You handled that situation well. Custis, Sav, and the gang at the beach near the water. Phone vibrates. A warning alarm. Mutant grasshoppers. Like that will ever happen. Mutant grasshoppers showed up. Well, that happens. Interior hangout nameless is on the couch. Who wants to try out the narrator? Previously on Nanochip Investigation. Microboard finds a shady part of town, hoping not to get caught by its motherboard. It's just in. News is happening somewhere on this planet. More details as we have them. Cockroach calls onto the couch name is spots it. Beast! Beast! Die, 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 die! Ah. I dislike cockroaches. Don't know why. They just look like they have security cameras built into them. Anyway, here's what happens afterwards. A portal opens below, dropping Caden, Britt, Brandon, and Sab. The gang is injured except Sab. Did you have a good trip? Um, you could say that. Are you kidding? We were attacked! <laughs> Mutant grasshoppers! Mutant grasshoppers everywhere! Stop. Remember what I said? I like it rough. That? What just happened back there? That? What I well, that doesn't matter. At least we had fun, right? No! No! Oh, okay. So, Nameless, what did you do while we were gone? Oh, nothing really. It was actually kind of boring. Sab's house as a mutant grasshopper flies by, credits play, and then after credits. Exterior, <laughs> Florida town. During sunset, Brit has binoculars, as Brandon observes. Hmm. Nine. Four. Ooh, nine. Six. Eight. Um. Brett, what are you doing? Determining what booty would be best for my treasure collection. What's the point of that? Britt takes off binoculars, giving Brandon a dead stare. She puts them back on. Well, because I'm single Pringle, and I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> Whoop whoop, we, we did a thing. Oh yeah. yeah we did. That was awesome. We finished before the, the, the dead mark time. <laughs> we did. Yes, we we achieved something. <laughs> if you like this, please comment please comment below. Um if you if you want me to do more stuff like this, um comment comment below. Congratulations to, to Hayden. Thank you. You've been great. This is a night nice trip down memory lane. Hurry up and implement the other characters that the boys had. Hey, I'm only- I'm animating this myself. I can't- I need more animators. Well, you should be really proud of the work you've done, man. These are great. Yeah, Thank you they all are. Involved. Episode 5 coming whenever I'm not working on anything else. So, um, does anyone have any, like, final thoughts before we go? Nah. Uh, what the th hell thank was you that? guys for having me involved. No problem. And with all that said, it's all sad from here. All right. Bye, guys.